Good morning, it's Monday morning and uh, we're going to Shopwell's Hotel in Penrith today. Hi there, I'm Colin Begg. And I'm Christine. And, and together, together we are the Begg, Begg Family, Family Antics. Antics. We now have a web shop available at beggfamily.uk forward slash shop. Right, well, we're on our way to Shopwell's Hotel and uh, we stopped off at Mainskill for a comfort break. Uh, Christine got out first <laughs> while I was trying to park. We eventually found a car park and we're just heading for the shop now, which is where the toilets are. Oh, portables. Mm. Yeah, we're uh, heading back to the car now to complete the second leg uh, to Reghead, where we're going to have our lunch. Here we come to Reghead, but it's shut. So we're hoping we've got toilets in the the garage shop. So I'll get my mask out. We've got some uh, sandwiches and a drink of water. And we're going to split the sausage all between us. We'll have to sit in the car and eat it. Christine got a cheese and onion sandwich and I got chicken and bacon and there's the sausage roll we're going to share So we've travelled 93.6 miles and we have 85 miles to go so that I make that something like at the speed we were doing um, 178 Yeah, I guesstimate about 180 of motorway driving it's been mainly motorway driving and then some very bumpy roads after that. Uh, we've been doing 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. What we do around four in town. And we've got 45% battery left. So we do need to charge something before we go back. Or part way back or whatever. Just outside the hotel we've got a babbling brook. It is, it's babbling, yeah. <laughs> we've arrived. Quite a... Compact and busy room with the double bed, original size TV and mirror. Hello. Hello, I'm just looking this over view there, Mum. Oh, look at that view. Up to the hills. That's that brook over there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. With the light on. Shower, bath. We wearing the huh, the um, mask in the corridor. It's too narrow. Nice uh, adornments here and there. There's a very nice lamp here. And a rather nice clock. We presume this is the old bathhouse which has now got several rooms because we walk straight past there um, take the path into the woods with the old bathhouse on your left and here's the path into the woods as you enter the woods Blaybeck is on your left and this is Blaybeck, look at this little mini waterfalls all over the place Bird feeders. Wow. Oh, there's some nuts. With nuts. It's pretty impressive, this, isn't it? This is the Shap Spa. Many years he came to Shapwells to bathe in or drink the water. And that's a... Did it work? <laughs> Did it fall off? It fell off. Oh yeah. It's not very well. But that's where they used to get the water to drink from. Spa water. And there's a birdie on the cleaner over there. Little log bridge there. Now I believe this is what they call the rhododendron tunnel because it's a tunnel made of rhododendrons
Actually, this is the Rhododendron Tunnel. Then you have to bend down to avoid being struck on the head by Rhododendrons. At a fork in the path here, we turn left down the bank. Look like a path. We've taken the right fork and we're following a rather soggy path at the moment, possibly because of recent rains, round to the right. We can hear the falls that we're aiming for. We think we went slightly wrong there and turned left too early, perhaps. So we're at the moment we're heading back through the road at Endron Tunnel. Christine thought she heard a peewit, but it's stopped now. Way back at the spa area. And not too far back to the hotel. Christine spotted this interesting tree. It seemed to be twisted and knotted rather than gnarled. About there. I can see the Red squirrel. It's long there from my finger. It's a red squirrel. I haven't seen one. Wow. You normally only see grey ones, don't you? This is just the other side of the hotel, over the cattle grid, and there's the cattle. <laughs> Christine's got her binoculars out. And looking at the skyline, the tree line, and all and sorts. The and the cows. And there's the cows Christine's been looking at. I saw a sheep right up there past that tree. Yeah. Christine was not fibbing when she said she'd seen a red squirrel up that tree. There's a sign to slow down for them. Seeing a bit of a theme here. <laughs> we'll go to the other side because there's a gate. You can walk over uh, cow cattle grid, but it's not much fun. No. You've got to be really careful. This is the entrance way. It's uh, quite good and it's nice shielded and uh, quite traditional. again. Here's the menu and we mark it with a pen. We have a table with like C4. You fill it in with a little tick in one of the uh, boxes at the end of the line. You fill in your room number and table number. Hey, Christian's having uh, pork. Are you having some apple sauce? Yes. Yep. With some apple sauce. And now we've got apple sauce on my pork. It looks quite nice. Christine's got a mixed berry cheesecake there with uh, some cream and I've got rhubarb crumble with custard. As usual we've swapped over in the middle and I've got half of the cheesecake now. Good morning, it's a Tuesday and it's a damp day uh, and we're going to Kendall today.
I'm just going down to breakfast, so I need to get my mask on now. Right, and off we go. Off we go again. Okay, same system as uh, last night. Tick the boxes. Thank you. There you go. Look. They've got lovely stained glass windows there as well. Christine's selling muesli with prawns. Prawns? <laughs> that would be interesting. With prunes. And we've got these lovely little milk bottles. Aren't they sweet? And there's a coffee there for Christine. And some bits and pieces to go on the toast. And I'm having tea. There's no mention of decaf. And we're both having apple juice. And I'm having <laughs> wheat mix. I might take it out of the packet first. I need uh, fried breakfast. And they actually do poached eggs as well. That's a poached egg. One well, of the fried ones. I just got one of the things, everything apart from beans and hash browns and silly things like that. A bit of best cold as well. Chris's got just about the same, uh, but didn't go for the scramble. Brown sauce. Yay, found me ketchup. All done with cafe. Cafe? Well, restaurant cafe. Not cafe. <laughs> and I'm going to get some tea coffees and everything. A hey, nice man reception has been uh, giving me stuff to top the uh, machine up here. Machine. <laughs> The uh, stack of tea, coffee and milk. No sugar, of course. Look what he found for me when I said I'd prefer decaf tea. Yeah, it's still raining. It's raining at the moment. And we're going to head out very shortly to Kendall. Yeah. It's on the CCS connector. He says, first thing to do is plug it in. And then there. <laughs> Authorizing. Pre-authorized a start. Charging. Interval Kendall one. Right, got blue light there. It's away. Right, and then she's going to there. 44 kilowatts. Hey! hey. Right. My battery's 35%. That's all the stuff it knows, is it? Thank you. We've parked. And uh, I'll we'll check in in a minute. We're just going in booth now to get the stuff for tonight. Just looking for something nice. Tea. Sorry, dinner. Strawberries are cheap. So we've got some strawberries. Cool, the big vegetables in there. And we're having some. They've got Biscoff at a great price, so we've got some because they were out of home. I uh, came back to the car park to drop some of the food off that we just bought, and there's an MG ZS EV on number three here. We've just found it. It's quite a way around the corner, but this is it. Yeah. We've ordered our afternoon teas, and now we're going to go out into the rain and find some more shops to look at. We saw several charity shops. Found our first charity shop, hooray! Not getting very much video because it's raining. But we've got to go into the RSPA shop, RSPCA shop. A nice train there, look like you. So Harry would like this one. You can see it's very wet. High Street. In Kendall. Christine just remarks on these lovely flowers.
Just to remark on the concept of this famous chocolate house, but it's not actually a chocolate house. It's somebody that makes chocolate. We see what of this sign. Three centuries at least. Can hardly ever get Christine to look at watches, but she likes that one with the flying saucer on. I'm presuming Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from the Great Wall. Check out the lights. We're back at the cafe, the Booth's Cafe, and uh, we do fairly soon, but not yet. The afternoon tea has arrived. The important bit, the cakes. Equally important, the jammy scones with real Rodder's clotted cream and sandwiches, and they're each. Just check the um, reggae website. In fact, the main building is closed until this autumn, it says. So there's only the garage. We're on to the scone section. Look at that lovely crispy top to the uh, clotted cream. Ooh, Christine had some jam spare after we shared one. That's good. Clotted cream and scones already. And Christine's. We couldn't quite manage these uh, remaining bits, or not that bit. <coughs> so they did offer to box them up so we can take them back to the hotel with us. And return it to the holster. Like that. Finished. Plug out, detected. Session finished. Yay! Close up. Then I have to close this, shut up the CCS bit first, and then the top bit, and then that. Uh, since I forgot to, <laughs> to reset the trip when it was filled, the total journey mile so far, 124.8. Um, our average speed 29.8 miles an hour and we're uh, still averaging 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour with all our oddness, odd driving. Right, we're going to get in and get warmed up. For dinner tonight we're having the uh, leftover sandwiches from the afternoon tea um, a pork and black pudding uh, pie and some vegetable crisps with a glass of the local water which is actually straight out of the tap and gorgeous and for pudding we've got some fresh strawberries not quite such a nice day as when we came so we're off now just gonna get the just going to get the face masks on and uh, off we go. The trip is at 124.8 at the start of the journey home. We averaged 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour during the trip. With various sort of bits of up and down roads and all sorts. And 171 miles range for 78 and a half mile trip. It's been calculated. Please drive onto a digitised road. <laughs> 77.7 miles is decided, but we will be stopping off for a drink or something part way, probably. Because um, that's too long to go in. Uh, it's almost two hours. We pulled up at Scotch Corner for a comfort break. At the moment it's not raining, but it, it was a bit uh, spitty. We were driving here just before now, before the roundabout. I've got one spot of rain on me forehead just now. Tristine's got a mask on ready, and I'm going to get mine on now. And there's the Ecotricity charging points. They have a one-way system. Coming through like a side door here. Yeah. And you go out the main entrance. Of 
of directional markings and we now follow the out sign down here. Every day. This is a normal exit. And here we are. <laughs> Cute OMZ motorbike here, single cylinder, two stroke. Two bays. This one's AC, probably 43 kilowatts. That's our ch Chatamau, so that one's no use at all. Are these different ones? Hmm? Are these different? Yeah. See this one here? Yeah. That's Chatamau, that's for Matthew. Oh, right. And the other side's AC. Yeah. Then there's the CCS, that's like the one I used before. Yeah. And then this, what's on this side? Uh, Oops. Looks like another Chadamo. And now we're back home and the trip says 201.2 miles. And we have 117 left on the GOM. That's 56% uh, of the battery. So that's a good while before we need to charge it. And we're up to 4.0 miles per kilowatt hour with the um, dual carriageway but no hills noticeably on the way home. So it looks like hill, it doesn't like hills that much. But 4.0 is good. The sunflowers have, had fallen over during the uh, holiday with the wind. But you may notice that we now have two fully out with very brown centers. And this one has come out. I was just thinking about it before. It's not gone at all brown in the center yet. And that one, as Christine puts it, is thinking about it. 